well, well, during all this, I've been, uh, in my first few years here in Hollywood, um, I've been frequenting a lot of mainstream clubs. Mm -hmm. um, the famous ones, you know, like the Whiskey and mm -hmm. Gazaris. Gazaris was still around you sure. know, back then. Uh, because those were the ones that we'd heard of back east, you know, because you heard, oh, the doors at the Whiskey, you know, right. all that stuff. So uh, the first couple of years, yeah, I was getting acquainted and, and uh, with all the places in Hollywood, and I had a very different circle of friends back then. It was very mm -hmm. uh, much... Uh, a case of uh, East Coast transplants like mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, um, you know, I started branching out again because I was getting bored. And, um, and electronic music was finding its way into more clubs and stuff. And, you know, I liked, you know, parts of it and stuff. Yeah. And, um, but what I was not impressed with was um, so many of the clubs, uh, and, and this time period, by the way, this is like 1991 through 95. Okay. Okay. Um, most of the mainstream clubs in Hollywood in those days uh, played very low quality, of, a very low quality of music in sure. there. Uh, most of it, um, when you were not talking about pop songs or whatever, uh, you were talking about third-rate commercial house, middle-of-the-road knockoffs mixed with 80s mashups. It's, mm -hmm. it's completely unimpressive. Mm -hmm. It's like and they would play, some DJs uh, would play, you know, the same song three or four times a night. Wow. And it's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know? I mean, well, I knew what it was. They were going for the mainstream people, sure. the people who were just in there to, you know, get fucked up and try to get laid, you know, mm -hmm. and all that. Um, and so I was becoming very sick of this after a while. Um, I mean, I was photographing in some of these clubs. I was, well, I was photographing in a few different scenes at the time. Uh, I was doing the gothic and industrial stuff, which oh, was, cool. that was, yeah, that was very cool. Depressing people, but fantastic fashion sense. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Great, I mean, great to photograph. Oh, yeah, sure. great to photograph. Yeah. Um, and, where, where did the idea come from to, to take pictures? Oh, I, I, the, the idea came about because I wanted access to these clubs. Yeah. And as a young, suburban, white male, I'm the last guy that the <laughs> bouncer is going to let in there, you right. know, uh, if I'm by myself, yeah. you know. Uh, I realized that very quickly. So I, I had some friends of mine who were promoters and stuff. Okay. And so they, you know, wanted publicity, of course. And I was like, bingo, this is my ticket in, yeah. you know. And... Uh, one of the scenes. And did you know, like, had you studied photography? Did you know? No, I, just, I went to school for video and film color. production, you know, okay. and, and there are some parts of that that are very similar to photography. I sure. mean, because, you know, video and film, or video and photography, rather, it was film in those days. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're very simple. They're both visual arts, uh, you know, and some things are the same, you know, lighting is lighting, composition is composition, you know, right. and all that. Right. Uh, so it wasn't a huge jump uh, from video, you know, to stills. Um, but uh, the, the main reason why I started that, besides getting access to the clubs, is that, um, especially, and I guess this started in the gothic, you know, kind of stuff. I mean, I wanted to really get, not just document the scene that I was shooting in, I wanted to get that whole vibe across, you know, on the film. Because in the clubbing magazines of the day, um, and there were several yeah. in those days, um, most of the photography that appeared in those magazines was really substandard. Um, you had no idea, really, of what was really going on there. And the reason, the main reason was is because most of these were not shot by professional photographers. They were shot sure. by clubbers with little disposable cameras most of the yeah, time, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. And which looked like crap to be honest um, and I knew that you know there's so much more going on so the question for me became how do I get all this on the film and that's really where my photography career began is to how do I get that in that vibe across to the viewer so how do you it was um, there were a number of things that I did um, this was really the like I said the beginning the real beginning of my photographic uh, education mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so I had to really go back to basics and figure out and see you know what is film and how does it work you know and all that and how can we get all this stuff on there and uh, the first thing I did was to start shooting with very high speed film mm. um, which is very very light sensitive which means that you can use that in a very dark place like a club right. you know yeah. um, and then I started doing other things like uh, doing very long exposures to and camera movement to create like swirls and swoops of energy, mm -hmm. and, you know, from the special effects lighting in there. Uh, 
I would uh, use stuff like uh, stroboscopics, which I would just take the flash off the camera and just pop, start popping that flash like crazy mm -hmm. to create multiple images within one thing of film. Mm -hmm. I would do, um, I would take colored gels and slap them on my flash head, because I would use sometimes multiple flashes. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was basically to introduce more color and, all, and more vibrance and energy to that thing. To, again, to replicate what was going on, you know, inside the club that sure. you couldn't capture with a conventional picture. I mean, w one of the things that I um, that I realized back then is that uh, what I was doing there was basically capturing the moment, yeah. and a moment doesn't necessarily last one one twenty fifth of a second, which right. is pretty much the standard, you know, uh, speed that you shoot a picture mm -hmm. uh, with a camera. Most of the time, anyway. Um, sometimes a moment lasts much longer than that. Yeah. And most of the time, people, when they try to capture a moment, they try to do it within multiple images, multiple mm -hmm. frames of film back mm -hmm. in those days. Uh, so you would get, you know, a, a, se a series of six or seven pictures which would show, you know, that moment going on. I wanted to see... I didn't want to do it on six or seven images. I wanted to do it on one, yeah. you know? And um, and that's that was the goal in the early days. And uh, fortunately, I was able to put all the pieces together, you know, and, and make it work. Right. And not long after that, that's when people like Herb and stuff started noticing my stuff and sure. said, do you want to start shooting for us? 